Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday, May 18th, 2019, and today we're looking at this video called Nibiru Already at the Most Used Program by NASA Astronomers Confirmed. Now that's a translation of title from Portuguese, I'll come back to that in just a moment. In this video, the uploader is claiming that Nibiru, or Planet X, can be viewed in the program Starry Night. I'm picking up from halfway through in this video, we'll watch a little bit of the video, I've got the closed captions on, the translation may not be so good, but I will stop and give a rundown of, of what he is claiming in the video. So he's showing us where Saturn is in the sky, let's listen to a little bit of the video as we go. Esse aplicativo é muito bom, mas voltando ao tema do vídeo, deixa eu voltar para onde eu estava. So here he's given us a, a good uh, view of the sky here with all of the constellations turned on. We can see Capricorn down here, we can see Sagittarius up here, and we've got Saturn marked, and in the moment he's going to show us about finding M75. Pronto. Aí o Dr. Sam falou que o Nibiru ia estar do lado da M75. Aí eu estava procurando aqui do lado, Aqui é a Sigma Capricorn, saí procurando, e quando eu coloquei aqui do lado, pessoal, apareceu aqui. Deixa eu selecionar ele. Notice how he selects Nibiru from the drop-down menu. Aqui, e do lado, e do lado de Nibiru, a M75. Deixa eu achar aqui, aqui, um do lado do outro. Aí vamos ver se o, o, o zoom chega até ele. M75... So as we can see, he's zooming in on the object. Vamos lá. Very slowly. Aqui ele, pessoal. Bem que o amigo, meu amigo falou, e é verdade mesmo. So here he is saying that this is Nibiru in Starry Night showing an image of Nibiru and Starry Night. So let's use Starry Night and see if we can find it exactly as he has shown. So here we are looking in Starry Night. As you can see, I've got the date and time and location set the same. The location is set to Nova Iguaçu, Brazil. The date is April 20th, 2019. The time is 3 a.m. We're looking at the same area of sky. We can see Capricorn here and Sagittarius there. So first of all, what I'd like to do is search for Nibiru in the database of Starry Night. Uh, this is searching all databases, and as you can see it says no items found. Let's try searching for Planet X. Searching, and no items found. Okay, so let's try searching for Saturn, which will come up in the displayed list anyway, if I'm not searching for anything. There is Saturn, and let's search for M75. There is M75, just as shown in his video. Now, according to what he showed us, Nibiru is supposed to be just to the left of M75. So let's now zoom in, and I'll see if I can find his Nibiru. Let me center on M75, the global cluster, star cluster. And I'm going to zoom in slowly, as he did. Well, so far I'm not seeing anything. Hang on, looks like there might be something there. 
What could it be? Is this Nibiru? No, it's just another bullshitter. And the name of that bullshitter is Teo Abadam. You can see the data in the top left hand corner of my screen. Let's show the info. We can see all of the data for uh, bullshitter YT TO Abadam BS4U as it's been designated. YT, of course, stands for YouTube, or in this case, YouTube University. TO Abadam is this guy here translated as Uncle Abadam. Now let's bring up the details for YT TO Abadam BS4U. And according to the notes in my Starry Night, it clearly states that TO Abadam is a paid disinfo shill, earns money from views of monetized YouTube videos, a liar and hoaxer who preys on people's fears because he can't earn an honest income. Well, it's in Starry Night, so it must be true, right? Now let's take a look how we did this, and how he did it. So here we are looking in the wide view in Starry Night, and let's zoom in next to M75 and find a spot. This one will do. I'm going to right click, go Add Image, uh, choose From File. You can see I've got some other images I've prepared there, including my huge chocolate teapot from a previous video. Tio Abadam himself, the hoaxer, and uh, this one that I prepared earlier. Let's open that one. And uh, I always find that when I rotate the image accordingly, it still ends up wrong, so it's probably going to be rotated the wrong way when I save this. But let's go to Details, and we'll give it a name. Uh, let's call it Nibiru. In fact, let's call it Nibiru Hoax, just to make sure that it's not the original Nibiru that was supposed to be in there. Source YouTube Hoaxer Dio Abadam. And notes, just another Nibiru Hoax. We can give it a type. Let's call it a quasar, press OK and save, and now we can zoom in on it, and as always happens, my image is rotated incorrectly. Let's just edit the image. And there we go, so there is our original hoaxer and his Nibiru image which he added. And if I zoom in far enough you can also see the, the hand uh, icon that he was using in Starry Night is also saved in the screen grab that I saved. So there we go, when I hover over the, the item you can see up in the top left there it says Nibiru hoax. Let's bring up the info for that. Nibiru hoax, catalogue number, YouTube hoaxer. T.O. Abadam, uh, object type Quasar, it shows us all sorts of interesting information and how far away it is, all that sort of thing. And if I click on details, let's bring that box back, there it is, all there. So, you know, images can very easily be imported into Starry Night. I was reluctant to show this video because Obviously the hoaxers like this particular liar, T.O. Abadam, uh, will use this information to produce hoax videos. Well, his videos already have thousands of views, so I guess the cat is already out of the bag. But this is how these liars produce these videos. And uh, some of my subscribers will be aware that a few years back I uploaded a parody video called HCT 2014 Incoming about the huge chocolate teapot that was supposed to be orbiting the sun and heading this way. If you haven't seen that video, you might want to check it out. I'll put a link in the description area. But this guy is a liar and a hoaxer, and he is using Starry Night to import images and claim that he is looking at Nibiru.